Tātad mūsu izstādes konferences dalībnieku visaptverošā ģeogrāfija ir pietiekoši plaša, pa ko liecina arī sanas piedalīšanās šodien, un mēs vienojamies, ka sana pati iepazīstinās ar sevi. So, I told that you'll introduce yourself. Ok, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, my name is Sana, Sana Kope, and uh, I'm an artist from Iran. I was born in Iran and I studied uh, architecture for, um, in Oslo University, then I moved to Sweden and I studied for, my bachelor, for the bachelor degree at the Umeå Academy of Fine Arts. Uh, since 2013, uh, I'm, uh, I'm doing a research project based on the same uh, university I studied in. Um, and uh, in this uh, research project, uh, I mainly focus, I mean, I, 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 I have to put it really short, so I just want like, to give you some clue and then I'm going to present the work. So it's, it's not, uh, I, I hope you can like, uh, connect to that. <laughs> but shortly, uh, in this project, I, I focus on the body in public spaces. Uh, uh, and for me, the, the position and role of the body is one of the crucial elements which can give uh, meaning to different layers of the city. So um, what interests me is like uh, when the constant dialogue between the body and the city is not always the uh, understanding um, successful one, but it could be interrupted or um, um, the kind of disconnected or uh, even disturbed out of many reasons. So for me, it, these are the moments that uh, the, the public spaces and city in, uh, in general can uh, open up uh, potentially some moments for the body to express itself slightly, not really radically, but slightly uh, in a different way rather than what it has experiencing like um, in everyday life. And uh, it's and it's the the way the body can re redefine its limitations and, and uh, definitions around itself to to decreate the space. So uh, I have done kind of different projects with different concepts regarding this issue. But one of the projects I'm going to present here is uh, is what I did in uh, in Vienna. So, just to, just to give you a very basic illustration of what we did, it's, it, it, this is the game that, um, uh, I mean, kids uh, used to, like, uh, they, they, they draw it with chalk uh, on the floor and then they play and it's like the rule is like just jumping from uh, block to block. I don't know if you're all familiar with this, if you do yes. it here also. <laughs> Yeah, scotch, yeah. Uh, and what we did is that we slightly transformed it to something like that. So instead of the numbers, we wrote some specific uh, words that we were kind of obsessed with. So after showing the video, I'm going to explain how the idea shaped, but let's see the video to, to see what happened with this game. <laughs> Okay, just let me know if the sound is not clear. Should I put it louder? It's okay.
So in, in 2014, I was in an artist in residence program in Vienna. And uh, over there, I met uh, an artist from Syria. Uh, we became friends and we started working together uh, with, for a different project. But one of the projects uh, we, 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 we did in Vienna was this one. So it was like we, we decided to, to draw this, this game with, uh, with, this, with this certain uh, words in different parts of the city. Uh, so we went to like uh, different residential pla places or like in front of monuments in, uh, in Vienna because it's a very like uh, clean, uh, beautiful city. So we wanted to make a slightly di different, like to, to make people, um, to, to invite people to join us, to, to play with us and uh, to create another way of communication with, uh, with people who, who uh, we were their guests. So um, I can show you some, some photos of the process we did. Uh, and it was not just kids who were playing, people um, either played or took photos of it or they started talking with us. Uh, so, so for me it was a new experience, like uh, getting to know uh, new people in new atmosphere. <laughs> okay, maybe I should uh, show the other one, which uh, shows the... Okay, sorry. How can I? No, let me. Why are all of them are upside down? <laughs> because on the folder it's not like this. <laughs> can I rotate this somewhere? No, okay. One step back. So it's, it's my Syrian friend drawing the game uh, in front of one of, oh my God, <laughs> in front of one of these uh, like really touristic places in, in the city. Um, Sorry. Okay, which one should I press? Just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it's when even other tourists started playing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Nice, kind, and polite, but they are not really 
not open to, op uh, to open a conversation, but with this, uh, with this work, we, we managed to, to talk to some people uh, when they were passing over, when we were drawing there some, some notice on, and they, the, they stopped, and uh, they, they, they waited till it was over, and then we, in, in many places, we, we ourselves uh, played uh, the game for like several minutes, and um, yeah, some of them took like photos, or they asked to, uh, us why we are doing that, and uh, what are we doing in Vienna, and such questions. But especially tourists and uh, kids, they really like that. Without any question, they started playing with us. So yeah, that was the, in, in general the impression was really good, and it was a very nice experience for us. Yeah. And did they did they assume that the work was personal? Okay. Did they assume uh -huh. that the work was personal? Personal? Yeah. Uh, but for us it's not that personal. Like, you go from Iran? Yeah. But you go from Iran? Personal. No, personal. personal. She yeah. asked if it's a personal work. So if they, if the audience, sorry, mm -hmm. yeah. if the audience assumed, mm -hmm. thought that this work you made was personal from your personal experience or your personal agenda. Okay, uh, some of them asked and uh, when the, we told them that we are artists and then they're doing this and, and we also exhibited it in a, in a gallery space in Vienna and we had uh, the Serbian game in front, in, 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 uh, on the street in front of the gallery space so even there, uh, people could play play the game. So we wanted to make it not uh, in a in a gallery space, but in public spaces, just to to be able to talk with people more and more. And uh, yeah, when we told them that I am from Iran and she is from Syria, so they, they could connect more to the subject. But it's a big issue now in Austria when uh, new people are coming to to the to the country especially immigrants, and uh, they have different reactions to this, this social, uh, even like new thing that is happening in their country. So of course they have different uh, approaches to, to this, but for us it was not just personal. We wanted to, to point to this big issue and the big kind of problem which is happening in Austria, in Germany, in France, <laughs> but especially we, because we were in Vienna, we were talking about this problem in Austria. And of course, it is about everyone who, who comes to Austria with this kind of problem. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. We saw many pictures where local people are playing your game, or for example, that video in uh, carnival grounds where people are playing it. But uh, I didn't see any pictures where immigrants could be playing this game. Yeah, the pictures were were, were changing the. <laughs> these are. Why well, you don't think not, they were immigrants? Ah, uh, immigrants, not too. So okay. that was just no, the, no, the he, he didn't, he didn't happen. How you know? How you recognize that the immigrants? <laughs> 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 Sorry, I thought this was tourists. No, immigrants. Uh, Maybe so one of those kids were like immigrants, but I really didn't some, care about uh, that. People who had uh, like recently came to this country and and they saw this game. And how did they feel about your uh, I should remember if something like that happened. <laughs> mm. Yeah, of course, some some passed, and then yeah, they noticed that. But we. Most of the people we talked to and uh, played, they were either, either tourists or uh, the, the citizens of Vienna. But immigrants, I don't really remember in particular, but the city is full of immigrants, so it, it was likely that it happened. I, I don't remember specifically. Yes, thanks very much for your presentation. I have a, a question about the language mm -hmm. that you used. Um, Two, two questions, really. One, did you think about putting uh, the words in German? Because I'm thinking, particularly for children, uh, they wouldn't necessarily understand the words. Um, young children probably wouldn't understand them anyway, but some of the kids were six, seven, eight, nine years old, so they would be able to read. I just wonder if that would have made a difference actually using the German language rather than having a language that was not possible to understand. And then secondly, 
when you organize the sequence of the words uh, across the different squares, um, were you trying to do that in a certain order? Were you trying to reach for a kind of poetic sort of integration through the juxtaposition of particular words, or was that just a sort of random order? Yeah, we had a list of words we chose, and uh, among those words we, we selected some which we thought uh, more like uh, the, the biggest problems or like uh, the most important uh, obsessions for us. Uh, but about the language, uh, it's not always like that when I, I use English. For example, I did a performance uh, in, the, in the subway, in, in the train in uh, Milano, for example, and I asked a friend to translate what I was, uh, what I wrote on the paper. So in that case, it was in Italian because the approach was different. But here we also talk about the language, but we prefer to do it in English because it's another obstacle for foreigners, that they can speak just in, in words which are not understandable for everyone. So we wanted to like kind of highlight this kind of uh, inefficiency at the same time. And of course for kids it's not that necessary, because they didn't even care yeah, about the words, sure. they were just enjoying playing. <laughs> And uh, the interesting question for me, uh, did you have any complaints or uh, about uh, such kind of graffiti that, that was done? Because it's kind of uh, uh, that the security, I mean, or, or, uh, or the citizens asking about, uh, about uh, structure. It's, did you have such uh, conversations with people or security um, persons? No, not really, but we thought about it. Uh, first of all, it's in chalk, and many trees <coughs> disappear. And it was one, one, uh, one of the main aspects of the work, because we didn't want to create something permanent. <laughs> uh, we really wanted something to be like temporary as uh, the guests in the new uh, environment are. Uh, but at the same time, it makes a little bit dirt in the, on the very clear context of the city, which was our purpose to do, to do. So we were ready for any security to come to ask us, but it didn't happen, fortunately. Or maybe unfortunately, <laughs> because it could be also part of the project. I just wanted to uh, make a, like add question to this uh, language and understanding of the language in which it's written, and uh, also about this, uh, especially the children that they don't in a way care; they just want to play the game. Yeah. And, Yeah? Yeah. As I got it right. 
you, you say the language is not a problem, but because you are so far from this notion, you cannot get it. Is it something? No, but, but the language is also important because for those who don't understand it, it's the way the way we understand what is happening. In the way. We understand, but actually don't understand at the same time. So language also plays a quite great role in it. Yeah, and so one one of one thing that I, I should add is that I uh, I was uh, I was holding a workshop in a school for 12 years kids in Vienna, and it was about uh, paint, drawing and painting and like uh, film this and stuff. But I was surprised that every, all the kids could speak English fluently, like more than my expectations. So the language here is not <laughs> specifically for even kids from Vienna, but again for the kids who are immigrant because they don't even know English, they don't not all of them know German, but they know for example Arabic or Turkish or other languages. So my, my friend uh, from Syria she, she she speaks in Arabic we could put them in Arabic, but we wanted to to put it like as the as the as the uh, as the filter that we face all the time. We are speaking English with uh, with people who understand English but it's not it's not our own language. Uh, you see what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, so it was not the problem for kids who are playing, but with the kid, for example, the chubby one, who, who was from Romania, couldn't understand uh, English, apparently, but other kids, apparently they understood. So <laughs> the, the language was kind of tricky in, in this case. The, another thing that I thought about is that I have seen one another work which is made uh, from one of the Baltic artists uh, who has also used the same game, mm -hmm. only using uh, match matchboxes. Okay. Uh, so you can't actually play like jumping on it. You can just watch it as an exhibition work. Uh, but the difference was, uh, and, uh, and it just means how actually strong tool can be this uh, game of. Uh, mm -hmm. the changes or something that is happening because there was uh, the, the story was about the old uh, fabric buildings that are not functioning anymore okay. uh, so the pictures were glued on the matches but on the matches and on, on those photos were the texts uh, in English mm -hmm. again and uh, where was uh, those slogans that uh, you can see also in uh, Danis Menikos now uh, work in, in uh, uh, this exhibition in the uh, in railway museum, which uses such uh, beautiful names as hope, love, mm -hmm. and so on. So you know, putting this Disneyland on the on the past ruins or something like that. Mm -hmm. So so it's, it's just interesting how I haven't seen all the work. Thank you for the information. Yeah, Actually, I've true. seen uh, some some work with the same game, but. Uh, uh, when you are doing that, you are not like really re researching for that game, but afterwards I did. So thanks for the information of the hint. <laughs> Thank you.